Are you struggling to pass the CPA exam? Did your review course fail to fit your learning style? I'm Darius Clark of I-75 CPA Review, the number one course supplement, where the right teacher makes all the difference. Today we're going to look at some BEC multiple choice questions regarding IT. How important is IT on the BEC exam? Well, the AICPA must think it's pretty important because they're dedicating an entire exam to IT starting in January of 2024. But you want to pass BEC before that. So let's take a look at a couple of these IT multiple choice. In an information technology system, comparing data entry totals to batch control totals will be an example of what type of control. And the choices are preventive, detective, corrective, all of these. And that would be a detective control. Because when you compare data entry totals to batch control totals, that would detect errors made by data entry personnel. But it would not prevent any errors, nor would it correct errors that were made. And if you want to learn more about preventive, detective, and corrective controls, click the card in the upper right-hand corner. In a multi-factor authentication, a user is attempting to gain access to a system where something you have may be combined with something you know along with something you are. Which of the following would be considered something you have? Well, it wouldn't be a fingerprint or eye scan because that's something you are. And it wouldn't be a username and password because that's something you know. So the answer is B, something you have would be a one-time password from a security token or a smart card or the fact that they just sent you a text for a one-time password. And that helps to multi-factor your authentication because you already maybe put in your username and password because that's something you know. Now they're asking for something you have which is a one-time password. And multi-factor authentication, very important in the real world. Expect to see it on the exam. And if you take I-75 for BEC, you'll learn just enough detail about something you have versus something you know versus something you are. All right, how about this one? Which of the following is correct with regard to database environment? Most candidates are not expecting BEC questions on database environment, but that's probably because the other courses aren't covering it, but they should be. We do in I-75, that's for sure. Fields in a database are also known as attributes. And files in a database are also known as tables. And you need to know that. Letter A is correct. Fields are not known as tables. Files are known as tables. Files are not known as attributes. Fields are known as attributes. Why do they ask that on a CPA exam? Because most data is highly interrelated and therefore most business data is stored in databases. A database is a set of logically related files. And in a database environment, files, also known as tables, are composed of records. Records are composed of fields, also known as attributes in a database environment. Fields are composed of data values. Data values are composed of bytes, also known as characters. These bytes are composed of bits. If you want to learn more about the basics of database environment, click the card in the upper right-hand corner. For proper segregation of duties in a large organization, which of the following parties should not have access to the entity's live computer system? The application programmer, the systems analyst. Well, you've got to know that these two are on the same team when it comes to general controls in an IT system. The application programmer works under the direction of the systems analyst, and they both are responsible for what? They design and write the application program. So they have detailed knowledge about the program code and therefore they should not have access to the live system because they could make unauthorized changes to the program and then by having access to live data, they could perpetrate and conceal theft. So the answer is both of these, application programmer and systems analyst should have no access to live data. And if you want to learn more about general controls in an IT system, click the card in the upper right-hand corner. How important is IT in the BEC exam? Well, the AICPA must think so because they're making a whole exam out of it in 2024. But you want to pass BEC before that. So get yourself on I-75 with me, Darius Clark, where the right teacher makes all the difference.